Hey everyone, I'm actually going to do a love reading, a timeless love type of reading for you guys, which I do not do often. Um, so I actually have four pals for you guys to choose from. Again, this is a timeless love type of reading. This is going to be direct messages from your person of interest. So direct messages from your person of interest. Now for pal number one, you guys are going to be Blackberry raspberry hibiscus this is uh water infusions so this will be for pile number one on direct messages from your person of interest uh pile number two is going to be the passion tea pile number three is going to be the peach detox tea so peach detox tea for pile number three and for pal number four, you guys are going to be the Sweet Tangerine Positive Energy Tea. That's going to be for pal number four, okay? Again, this is pal one, this is pal two, this is pal three, and this is pal four. Go ahead and choose which pal you feel most drawn to, and we're going to go ahead and get into your reading. If you guys chose pal number one, this is going to be your timeless reading on direct messages from your person of interest. So you guys got the open up card. So this person is either wanting to open up to you or they're wishing that you guys would open up more to them. So take it how you feel like it resonates, but either this person wants to be more open with you or they're wishing that you would be more open with them. You guys also got the ITM card. This person really wants you guys to really just be in the moment with them. Honestly, this person wants to get to know you like on a soul type of level. Like this person really wants to dig deep with who you are and where this connection may be going. I also just heard for some of you, this person wants to give you a candle lit dinner. Or if this is a female, she's hoping that you, you know, you might give her a candle lit dinner. Um, but for most of you, I feel like this person wants to give you some type of a romantic dinner or a candlelit dinner here. This person really wants to have like a romantic dinner with you so that you two can really get to know each other better or to really understand each other better or the connection better. But yeah, this person wants to take you out on a date so that you guys will like open up more. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like this person is scared to ask you out on a date or they're scared to open up to you. This person is scared that you are going to reject them. Um, they're gonna feel like they took a major loss if you were to deny them or reject them. This person really, really likes you and they're terrified that you're not gonna like them back or that you're gonna reject them or tell them no. Uh, it would literally make this person cry if you told them no or if you rejected them. This person would literally cry um, because that's how much this person likes you. Uh, for someone here, this could be someone that you have rejected before. Um, so either this person is scared of rejection or you have rejected this person in the past. Uh, for someone here, this could be an ex. Um, that's not for everyone, but for someone here, this could be an ex. And this ex can't like let this go. They don't want to let this go if this is someone's ex. Also, if this is an ex, I'm hearing that this ex of yours is in denial, like they're in denial that this is over with. Um, but yeah, for others of you, it's just someone who's scared of rejection. So uh, for some of you, this person may be doing more resting, more daydreaming than they are action because they are scared of rejection or being told no or being denied. Um, so this, all of this energy that I'm picking up, I feel like they're almost like daydreaming about it or thinking about it when they're laying down or thinking about it when they're resting because they're too scared to like make a move. You guys also got the producer card. I mean, it could be very likely that for someone here, this person is some type of producer, um, but obviously that's probably only gonna resonate for like one person. Um, but overall this sign or this card is about things going on like behind the scenes. Um, so behind the scenes, this person Honestly, this person for someone here could be trying to put love magic on you behind the scenes um, in order to get you to like them. So for someone here, this person is doing love magic behind the scenes in order for you to like like them or fall in love with them. 
Um, for others of you, this person may be trying to orchestrate something behind the scenes to where you guys will uh, meet up. Especially if this is an ex, this person may be trying to or orchestrate something behind the scenes to where you guys will have to be in the same room or where you guys would have to meet up with each other or talk with each other. Um, for others of you, this person could be working behind the scenes um, in order to surprise you uh, with some kind of gift or date here. So I am getting different messages for this card, so only take what you feel like might resonate. Um, but regardless, an overall message that I am getting for everyone is that this person with the producer card, they are trying to manifest you into their life. They very much are trying to uh, manifest you into their life. You guys also got the blind sided card. This is the uh, nine of mirrors. Um, this person is honestly, they're living in fear. They have a fear based mentality. They don't feel like they're worthy of you. Um, this person may try to catch you off guard or they may try to like pop up unexpectedly in your life or they're thinking about catching you off guard or they're thinking about, uh, popping up unexpectedly. Um, but again, I feel like this person does cry a lot. Remember what I just said a second ago with the, with the rejected card that if you guys were to reject this person, deny them, or tell them no, they would fucking cry. They really would cry. Um, they like you that much. I'm also hearing with this card that they feel like everything in their life is going perfect except for this. It's like everything in this person, everything in this person's life is going perfect except for their love life. And the reason why is because this person really wants you and they don't have you right now. I also feel like this is an indicator for some of you. If you resonate with this poss possibly being an ex of yours, this ex is like... It was almost like the breakup was unexpected for them. Or the connection um, ended unexpectedly, which upset them. I'm also seeing someone like swipe on Tinder. This person feels like you've swiped them <laughs> or I don't know what that's about, but someone here feels like they're being swiped to the left. This person wanted to marry you. If this was an ex of yours, they, they really, really wanted to marry you. But I feel like everything just changed very unexpectedly or very drastically, um, which has this person really upset. Um, again, this is a message for those that feel like it resonates if it's your ex. I feel like some of you were receiving some kind of intuition or gut feelings that this person wasn't right for you if this is an ex. I also just heard that some of you might have chose someone over this person. If this was an ex, some of you might have chose someone over this person, which has them upset. So uh, different messages for different people with the blindsided card. Um, for others of you, you know, like I said, you know, if this isn't an ex, if this is not an ex, this is someone who is just very fearful of getting hurt or rejected. Um, like I said, they would cry if you were to reject them. And this is definitely someone who feels like they're not worthy of you. Whoever this is, you guys got the front runner card. Um, so this is a very impulsive person. They want to like come towards you impulsively. Um, it's like fear is holding them back. But if fear wasn't holding them back, they would literally just come running to you with open arms here. Um, because there's this impulsive energy about them. Uh, they want to come to you with a lot of passion because they feel very passionate towards you. They want to feel like they can have you, that they can win you. I keep hearing, I want to win you. So for some of you, this person may feel like they're in a competition with other people for your affection or for your love because I keep hearing, I want to win you. This person wants to win you or win the competition for you. This person is very much ready to give and receive love with you. Uh, for some of you, this person could be a fire sign. Uh, this person that is in question when you click this pile, they could very much be a Leo, uh, Sagittarius, or um, what's that? Aries. This person could be an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo for some of you. 
But yeah, this person is very, very focused on you. They may even be like hyper focused on you. Uh, they get very um, enthused anytime you give them any attention. So even if you were to just text this person, they get very, very enthused. You guys also have the king of flutes. This is called the single dad. So for some of you, this person could be a single father. This person could definitely be a single father for someone here. So for some of you, I'm hearing this person could have kids already. They could have a child or children already, um, but they're a single father. Um, for some of you, especially if this was an ex, this could be a baby daddy, okay? This is an ex of yours. It could be someone you had child, a uh, child or children with. It could be a baby mama, baby daddy, um, or this could be someone that already has a child or children for some of you. If this person does not have children at all, remember how I said this person wants to marry you? They very much would probably like to have children or a child with you as well. So this person feels like they want to marry you or have a child or children with you if they don't have children. Um, I do see where this person is very, um, they're trying to be like mature. They're trying to have uh, mature emotions in this connection or situation. Um, but they may come off moody sometimes for some of you because I'm hearing they feel like they care too much. Um, sometimes this person feels like they have too much emotions for you. So they may come off moody for someone here specific. Um, but this is someone who wants to either get their pri priorities straight or this is someone who knows how to prioritize things in their life. So either they, they are someone who knows how to prioritize prioritize things in their life or they are someone who if this is an ex um you may have disconnected from this ex or broke up with this ex because they didn't have their shit together um they didn't have like their priorities together so this person if this is an ex they're trying to be more mature for you or they want to be more mature for you you guys also got the nine of flutes. This is called fantasy suites. So I feel like this person, I'm telling you, they want to take you on a date. They want to have a nice dinner and they want to take you to a hotel. Okay. This is, is this fantasy suites? And it kind of looks like a, like a hotel key or something like that. So this person, for some of you, they want to get a hotel with you. Um, they may want to get a resort or some kind of fancy or romantic suite for the two of you. Um, this is, like I'm hearing hopeful wishing. So it's like they're wishing that you two could get away and have a hotel together or a night together. Uh, they want to have sex with you. They want to let loose and satisfy you in a sexual way. So, it, you know, they may even want to <laughs> role play or do some kind of fantasies or role playing here for someone here, especially with the producer above it. Fantasy suites and producer, this person may want to you know, record you two doing naughty stuff together. They may want to record the two of you. Um, or this person may want to just like role play or something like that. So that's everything that I'm seeing for pile number one. You guys, if you enjoyed this reading, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I love and appreciate you guys so much. And we're going to move on to pile number two. Hey, pile number two is if you chose the passion tea, this is going to be your timeless reading on direct messages from the per your person of interest. Okay, so unfortunately, you guys did get the Seven of Mirrors, which is for the wrong reasons. So this person is being sneaky, okay? They may be being sneaky on social media. Um, they could be like messaging other people on social media as well as you. They could be trying to play the field on social media. They could be trying to be a player on social media. Uh, for someone here, this person, if that's not the case, they could be someone that is like watching your social media or spying on, on your social media, trying to be sneaky on your social media. So just take it how you feel like it might resonate. But overall, this person has some kind of hidden agenda or some kind of secret strategies here. This is someone who will get whatever they want by any means necessary. So this is someone who will definitely lie in order to sleep with you or lie in order to date you or whatever it is like this person i just heard that <laughs> i heard this person is literally the fucking devil i'm gonna be honest with you i heard this person is like the fucking devil this person is very very sneaky and they'll do whatever they can to get whatever it is they want out of you whether it's sex 
whether it's dating you, whether it's something financial. I also just heard clout chaser. So for someone here, maybe you have a little recognition or some type of fame. This person may want to get clout off of your name by like fucking you or dating you, you know, whatever the situation may be. So just be careful of this person. Now, I will say if you feel like uh, the messages I'm receiving do not resonate, it's possible that they feel this way about you. So it's possible that they feel like you are the one being sneaky, okay? It's possible that they're they're worried that you have some kind of hidden agenda or that you're a, you're a player on social media or that you're the one um, getting anything for any means. So take it how it resonates because that could the energy I'm picking up could be them or it's them thinking that about you. So take it how you feel like it resonates. Yeah, with the two of mirrors, it's two on one. It looks like two kangaroos fighting. Um, someone here could be from Australia or this person could be from Australia, but that does not have to resonate for everyone. Sorry, the kangaroos just made me think of Australia. <laughs> um, but yeah, this person, either they have options or they want to come to you and, and say, hey, I know you have options or I know you're talking to multiple people or something like that. So this person may think or assume that you have a lot of options or maybe there is what's going on. Maybe you guys do have a lot of options. I don't know. <laughs> you know, energy is interchangeable. So just take this reading how you feel like it might resonate. But I feel like this person wants to fight with you. I feel like they want to fight with you because um, they feel like you have options online or that you are trying to make them an option. This person doesn't want to feel like an option. So they may be angry with you and they may want to tell you this, that, hey, I don't want to be a fucking option. Um, or, or for some of you, if you feel like this person is the one that's being sneaky, if you were to confront this person, they would get really defensive. Um, if you already have confronted this person or exposed this person for being uh, sneaky, it's like they want to fight with you. They could be holding their tongue. So if you're on the spectrum of this reading where you feel like it's this person being shady or doing shady shit online or being a player and you confronted them or exposed them for it, they are holding their tongue back because they really want to argue with you or tell you off. Now, for others of you, if they are the ones feeling like you're the one being shady, they like want to they want to bring it up. They want to bring it up to you and address the problem or address how they're feeling about you or the situation. So we have butterflies. It's possible that you give this person butterflies or you make them nervous, especially if they're thinking that you have other options or if you're talking to other people, it, it kind of like makes them nervous. Um, I do feel like you give this person butterflies. You guys also have the lovers card so why am i getting like love hate energy like i'm getting serious love hate type of energy from this reading um because the butterflies card is about you know being a little nervous having butterflies feeling like a giddy little school girl or a giddy little school boy um so i definitely feel like you make this person feel that way um i just heard you make them feel like they're it's almost this person feels like it's their first love. Now, either you are their first love, you could be the first person they've ever truly fallen in love with, um, or this person just feels like that high school type of love again with you. So just take it how you it may resonate for your situation. For some of you, they want to tell you that you have nothing to worry about. Yeah, for some of you, they want to tell you that you have nothing to worry about. Um, for some of you, that may be a lie, and for others of you, it's not a lie. Um, this person could be trying to act innocent when they're really not. So for some of you, this person is trying to act innocent when they're really not, or they are thinking that you're the one pretending to be innocent. They could be trying to think, they could be thinking that you're the one trying to act innocent. There is like a strong connection though with this, the lovers here. You know, whether this situation is toxic or not, it's a very strong connection, you know, and sometimes, sometimes toxic connections can be a very strong connection. Um, so whether this, this connection is toxic or not, or whether this person assumes that you may be toxic, regardless of the situation, this is a very, very strong connection. I feel like you guys, 
I feel like you guys could fight like cats and dogs and then like make up the day after or something like that. Like there's some love hate shit going on here. <laughs> um, because this connection is so strong and so fiery. Honestly, there's a lot of fire, fiery energy between the two of you. Um, it's either heated in a good way, like in a hot sexual romantic way, or it can get heated in a fiery uh, argumentative type of way. I feel like it goes back and forth between the two of you. Uh, for some of you, you really did catch this person being a player. You know, I'm picking up on different stories, different timelines for different people. So only take what you feel like resonates. But for some of you, I do feel like you caught this person doing something online or you exposed this person for being a player or you caught them being a player. Because this is the tattletale card. Um, you found out for some of you that this person was trying to scheme you. And it could very much be, okay, for some of you, if you expose this person, it is backfiring on their ass so bad. And that's why that they're that's why they're holding their tongue because they want to cuss you out or argue with you because you expose them for being a schemer or a player. And when you did that, it got a lot of people talking. A lot of people started talking. I'm also seeing uh, a lot of people getting their heart broken if this person was a player. So it's like the whole situation backfired on their ass and now they're upset with you. Um, now for others of you, I'm hearing that um, this person is trying to cause conflict with you. If, the, if this person assumes that you're the one that's a player or they assume that you're the one um, having a lot of options or doing something shady online, they feel like you are the one scheming them and they may want to uh, create some kind of conflict or say something. I just heard say backhanded things or say something that may hurt your feeling, feelings um, just because they want to start some kind of conflict. And it could be, this is next to the, the tattletale card is next to the insecure card. So, you know, for some of you, they may be assuming that they may want to say, hey, I think or know that you have options or hey, I think or know that you're being shady online. Because for some of you, this person is very, very insecure. Some of you may actually get a lot of attention online. You may get a lot of attention when it comes to your content, your photos, your videos, your posts or something like that. And I feel like for some of you, it is making this person insecure. Um, but I do feel like they're blinded to the truth that, and the truth is that you guys are innocent, that you're not trying to play this person, but it's like they have a blindfold on here with the insecure card. And I feel like they want to start some kind of fight or bring something up about your social media or the fact that they're worried or scared or they assume that you have options or that you're talking to other people. Um, now, some of you may actually be doing that, but I feel like most of you, you know, it's just in this person's head. It's literally in this person's head. But yeah, if this person is insecure about your online presence or like your social media is making them insecure, they're wanting to, to like bring it up or talk to you about it because I feel like it's kind of messing with their um, security here. Um, yeah, for some of you, they're trying to like be cool, calm, collected. They're trying to, this is the keep it chill card. So it's like they're watching you. I feel like whoever this is, and no matter what messages resonate for you, I feel like an overall message is that this person does watch you or they keep an eye on you, whether you realize this or not. Um, but they're trying to keep cool, calm, and collected. They're trying to keep it chill, okay? They're trying to act chill. They're trying to act like they're not bothered. They're trying to act like they're not insecure, but they really, really are. This, this person is honestly having a hard time like balancing their emotions which is making them insecure they're trying to like center themselves for some of you they're with with the keep it chill and the limo card they could be trying to stay in their lane for some of you they could be just trying to stay in their lane and not bother you um so take it how you know you feel like it may resonate um they are trying to like calm themselves and relax about this situation um but with the limo card no matter you guys this situation this person is determined to either be in your life or to have a relationship with you. They are very determined to be with you. Um, this is someone who will take action towards you. 
even if you guys fight, it's like this person always comes back or they always take action to come back or something like that. Um, or they are going to take action to um, come to you, whether you guys got into a fight or not. Um, this person is very determined to make this work. I'm also hearing for the select few, if you feel like, if you know for a fact this person has been shady, or if you know for a fact that this person has been a player, um, they're very determined to still be in a relationship with you, so just be careful. Um, but I feel like that's only going to resonate for a couple of people. Uh, for some of you, this person is trying to get success through being with you. So if this is someone that's trying to scheme you or play you. But yeah, for some of you, this person, I feel like could be trying to get like success out of being in a relationship with you. Um, I feel like that message is only for a couple of you. So only take it if you feel like it resonates. But if you guys do have some kind of recognition or fame or success yourself, um, this person could be trying to like get success off of you or benefit from your success so um again only take what resonates different messages for different people like always um if you guys enjoyed this reading be sure to like comment and subscribe i love and appreciate you guys so much and we're going to move to pile number three hey guys if you chose pile number three with the peach detox tea this is going to be your timeless reading on direct messages from your person of interest so this person in question is like really, really in their head. They're having, they could be suffering from mental health problems or they could just have a lot of stuff going through their head right now or they're just really in their head about you or this connection. Um, this person could be getting, this person may be influenced by some kind of outside influence. Yeah, for some of you, there's an outsider. There's someone outside of this connection that's influencing this person or getting in this person's head. And it's making this person want to play the victim for some, for whatever reason. There's someone in this person's head that's making them feel like a victim or making them feel like they're victimized by you or something weird like that. I don't know. But there's someone definitely getting in this person's head and causing um, conflict or indecision or uh, mental problems because this person is in your person's head. Whoever this is, they're very emotional right now, but I do feel like they have love for you because they are daydreaming daydreaming about you because we do have the daydreamer card. So this person, they're definitely in their feelings. They're definitely in their emotions. They could be letting their emotions kind of take over, um, but they do have love for you and they do daydream about you and they daydream about having you. Uh, this person feels like you guys are very intuitive or very creative or very dreamy. They could dream about you a lot. Um, you guys also got seven of roses with the drama card. So um, this person could be very jealous of you. There could be someone in this person's head that's making this person act jealous or overwhelmed. But this person feels very jealous and overwhelmed when it comes to you in this connection. Uh, for some of you, they feel like you try to... Okay, for some of you, they feel like you're a attention seeker. They may think that you like to draw a lot of attention on yourself. For some of you, they think you um, are very dramatic or that you start a lot of drama. So just take it how you feel like it may resonate. Um, or maybe this person is very dramatic or maybe they like to start a lot of drama. I don't know. You know, energy is interchangeable. So just flip flop it how you feel like it may suit you and your situation. But yeah, this person feels like you are you're an attention seeker. Um, for some of you, they feel like, for some of you, I'm hearing you're the center of their world. So for some of you, they're making you the center of their world. So just take it how it resonates. Um, this person does want to be on the same page with you, though, with the uh, cheers card. This is two of flutes, cheers. Um, so this person wants to be on the same page with you. Um, they also want to love themselves more. For some of you, they may be trying to love themselves first before they love you. Um, for others of you, they're trying to work on loving themselves or they're trying to work on self-love so that they can be in harmony with you so you two can be unified and on the same page together. Uh, for some of you, this person may want to go out drinking with you or they may want to go out celebrating with you for some of you. Honestly, now that I noticed this, with the advisor card down below, there's someone giving this person bad advice which is making this person really stuck in their head or stuck in their emotions because they have some advisor that's like giving them bad advice or like getting in their ear, getting in their head. 
Um, so you guys also got Six of Roses, which is the challenge win winner. This actually really ties in with the Cheers card as well. This person wants to celebrate you or celebrate um, the connection, the relationship, or they want to go out and celebrate. Uh, for some of you, they want to win you uh, or they want to win you over or win you for some of you. Um, they want to be comfortable in this connection. They want to feel comfortable. They want to be feel comfortable in their own skin as well as what I'm hearing. Um, this card is also about appreciation. So I feel like this person really does appreciate you a lot. I feel like this person honestly puts you on a pedestal and they appreciate you a lot. But again, there's someone getting in this person's head with the in your head card, the advisor. Um, we even have this, we have a card called sent home. With the sent home card, it's very possible that for some of you, you know, you could have broke up with this person. Maybe you sent them home, bags packed and everything. You know, maybe this person lived with someone here and you kicked them out. I feel like that's a very specific message for only like one or two people though. But um, overall, this person is feeling like there's like a lot of changes. They feel shocked. Um, they feel shocked from whatever this person is telling them. This advisor, this toxic advisor is like getting in their head, getting in their ear and it's making them feel shocked and overwhelmed. They feel like a lot is changing, um, a lot's transforming, but they don't like the change or they don't like the transformation or something like that for some of you. Uh, for some of you, they don't like that you're changing. They feel like you've changed or you've transformed and it's like stressing them out that you've changed or you've tra transformed and it's stressing this person out. So different messages for different people. Uh, with the executive producer, it's possible that you guys have transformed or changed in some way to where you have a leadership role or maybe you have more control in the relationship than this person. I just heard that you wear the pants in the relationship <laughs> or you guys wear the pants in the connection. So um, for others of you, you may have stepped into some kind of leadership role at work or something like that. Um, for others of you, this person may be trying to get you to make some kind of quick decision or quick choice regarding them. Um, some of you are becoming successful or gaining this leadership role because you guys are visionaries um, or you're really good at what you do. And for some reason, it's like stressing this person out. Yeah, I do believe there's someone in this person's life. This person uh, may actually trust who's ever given them advice. It could be a close friend. It could be a family member. Um, this is definitely someone that your person like does confine, uh, confined to. This is someone that, this is someone that your person goes to when they're like upset or need advice. And they think that this person may have guidance or wisdom. Um, but truly this person is trying to like sabotage them or this connection, or they're trying to give them bad advice, which is fucking with their head. Um, or maybe this person they're getting advice from just doesn't really know you well enough or doesn't know the connection well enough to even give you advice. So different messages for different people. If you guys enjoyed this reading, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I love and appreciate you guys so much. And we're going to move on to pile number four. Hey guys, if you chose pile number four with the positive energy tea, this is sweet tangerine positive energy tea. If this is what you chose, this is your timeless reading on direct messages from your person of interest. So with the cocktail party card, you guys, this person is trying to have hope in this connection. They're trying to believe that anything is possible. They're trying to stay hopeful in this connection. Um, for some of you, they want to renew this connection. So this could be an ex or this could just be someone that you're currently with and they kind of want to renew the relationship or uh, refresh, like fresh it up in some way. So this could be someone you're currently with or this could be an ex because there is this energy of renewal, wanting to renew the connection or renew the relationship. They really want to take things to the next level. This card is also about elevation. Um, since this is the cocktail party card, it's kind of making me think of like an engagement party or like when people like like stand up and make an announcement it's like ding 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 like just want to tell you guys we're getting married you know what I mean so like different messages for different people but I do feel like this person wants to take you guys's connection or relationship to the next level here so you guys got three of flutes this is here to make friends so this could be someone that is a friend first it could this person could be a friend with benefits or they want to be friend with benefits or maybe you guys are friends and they want a relationship with you 
Um, but I feel like friendship was formed first between the two of you. It's like you two were friends first or you are friends first. Um, I feel like you two are very uplifting. This person feels like you uplift them. Um, they feel very strongly towards you. They feel like they can bond really well with you. They feel like they've been bonding very well with you. Um, I feel like this connection has really surprised them in a good way. Like they're very happy. They're very surprised that they have you or they have this connection or have the chance to even be with you. Um, they're very, very happy about this because they do like you a lot. You guys also got the reassuring rose. So this person wants some kind of reassurance from you, especially if you guys are just starting out as friends first or maybe even friends with benefits, but they do want some kind of um, assurance. They want you to reassure that you're like into them. Um, they definitely, for some of you, you could be resting or this person could be resting um, or you or this person could be experiencing some kind of burnout right now. So if you guys are resting or dealing with some kind of burnout or if you guys have been trying to relax or take it easy, or, um, this person's like maybe thinking that you don't like them or something, but you guys are just tired. So they're kind of wanting you to reassure that you're still like into them or that you still have romantic feelings for them. You guys also got seven of rings for the right reasons. So this person is, I feel like they're a good match for you. And I feel like they have genuine intentions towards you. Um, they definitely, when they look at you in this connection, they are looking at the long-term uh, potential or the long-term goals when it comes to you in this relationship. They feel like you are some type of reward here. Um, for some of you, this person could end up being a step parent to your child or children. I'm, I'm seeing some kind of step parent energy here. Uh, maybe they're wanting you to be a step parent or maybe they could be a step parent for your child or children. Um, that may resonate for someone, but this person has genuine intentions. They are here for the right reasons and they are here for the long term. This is someone who really craves a connection or relationship that has substance and sustainability here. So you guys also got the Knight of Flutes, which is the hopeless romantic. So this person is totally a hopeless romantic. They could be very charming. Um, they could be very uh, romantic, emotional, emotional in a good way. That is, um, they could be very imaginative here. This is like the one I'm serious. You guys like if this person could totally be the one for you, if you're in, if you're interested in them in that way, if you're interested in the long term, this could definitely be the one. And I honestly feel like they think you're the one too. like they could be the one for you, but they also, they would tell you that they would tell you like, Hey, I think you're my soulmate or Hey, I think you're the one. This person may want to travel with you as well. Um, for some of you, this could be a long distance relationship. So this person may want to travel to you or you travel to them, or this person may just want to go on like a romantic vacation with the two of you. Maybe the two of you travel together. Um, so different messages for different people. With the Two of Roses date card, this is someone who's trying to plan a future with you. So they want to discuss, if this person could say something to you, they would want to discuss the future with you. They want to discuss the long term and the future with you guys. Um, they want to discuss the unknown. Uh, they want to plan things with you. It gives them a lot of anticipation. This person would want to tell you that they're not here to play games. They're not here to gamble with you. They're not here to play games with you. This is someone who feels like they're destined to be with you. This is the destiny card. You make this person feel very lucky. Um, they feel very lucky to have you and they feel like they are, um, you two are destined to be together. If this is someone you just started dating or if this is someone that you're like friends with that you're dating or friends with benefits or if you started out friends first, I feel like you guys put an everlasting first impression on this person. I'm hearing love at first sight. They would tell you that you guys, um, they fell in love the first time they saw you. This pile number four was just really, really sweet. I love seeing this energy because a lot of time in love readings uh, is toxic shit. Um, so this was really nice to see for whoever picked this pile. Um, but yeah, that's everything I'm seeing for pile number four. If you guys enjoy this reading, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I love and appreciate you guys so much, and I will see you all in my next videos. Bye.